In this video, I'm going to share how to effectively train a Shiba Inu dog. I will discuss Shiba Inu's unique personality, training technique, how to discipline your dog, and how to stop puppy bite. All key points are listed down in the description box with timestamps, so feel free to jump to the section you're most interested in. I do have two other videos that also talks about how to train a Shiba Inu dog, and I will leave those links down below if you want to check them out later. Now, let's dive in. You probably already know that Shiba Inu is one of the most stubborn breeds. What makes it even more challenging is that they are also very intelligent and self-served, which means a Shiba Inu will not simply follow your command to please you. You will need to earn his trust first, which can take some time to develop for a first-time dog owner. In a Shiba Inu's mind, he will listen or follow commands when it makes sense to him or when he wants to. It is almost impossible to force a Shiba Inu to follow you blindly because he is just not born to please anyone. A Shiba Inu needs to know what's in it for him when it comes to training, and he will only choose to follow your command for a high value treat. Not any treats, but a high value one. So make sure you know what your dog loves and use that as reward to increase incentives for your dog to follow your command. You also want to pick the right timing when you do training. Typically after walks and before each meal is a good timing to train your dog because your dog has more incentives to work for the treat when he is slightly hungry. Keep in mind that for a new puppy who just arrived in your home, he is also learning and adapting as well. It takes time and practice to build mutual trust and bond with your dog. With Shiba Inu, once he accepts you as his pack leader, he is extremely loyal and can be affectionate from time to time, in his own term, of course. Now, let's move on to the training technique. We are all familiar with positive reinforcement and how it is the most effective way to train your dog. What exactly is positive reinforcement? It means you reward the behaviors you like and ignore the behaviors you do not like. We sometimes forget that in order to make positive reinforcement work, there are actually two aspects to positive reinforcement. Those are reward the good behaviors and ignore the bad ones to make each training session effective. You probably all know about reward the good behavior. Basically, whenever your dog does something good, you reward him. And in order to have the maximum effect, you should know what your dog likes. Some dogs might not be food motivated, so maybe for reward, you do a short play or praise him verbally dramatically instead of giving him treats. So get to know your new family member and learn what motivates him the most, and use that as a reward. Although dog doesn't understand human language, he is able to get the cues from your facial expression, tone, or even body language to get a positive message from you. The other aspect of the positive reinforcement is to ignore the bad behavior. This is as important as reward the good behavior from my personal experience of raising my own dog, Jimmy, I recommend never physically punish your dog for a few reasons. First, a Shiba Inu will quickly lose trust in you if you get physical with him. As a new dog owner who is still building out the bond with your new puppy, you certainly don't want to jeopardize that mutual trust in the early stage. Also, your dog will remember that you physically punish him and might get confused 
or scared next time you call him over, or next time when you are close to him. Another reason I don't recommend physically punish your dog is that it might impact your dog's confidence, and your puppy might start to act scared or aggressive towards human if he was punished physically by a human before. So, how to properly discipline your dog? There are two methods I use, and they're both pretty effective for my dog Jimmy. You can either use timeout or disengage. For timeout, it means you immediately disengage the current activity and place your puppy in a closed, confined area, such as your bathroom or laundry room, for about one to two minutes. While you are placing him to the closed area, also verbally tell him timeout. This will let your puppy know he just did something undesirable, and timeout will also help him to calm down. For disengage technique, you simply disengage with all activities when puppy exhibits bad behaviors. For example, if your dog starts to bite you in the middle of a playtime, you disengage and immediately turn your back on your dog. Your dog will learn that it just did something bad, and bad behavior means no more playtime. So it will reduce the likelihood of the same bad behavior next time. Shiba Inu typically likes to receive attention from its owner, so when you perform ignore technique, it should send him a clear message that his behavior was not ideal. We typically use disengage technique when Jimmy accidentally bite us. We will either pretend it hurts, well it might actually hurt. Or loudly and firmly say no, then turn our back on him for at least thirty seconds, so your puppy know he was biting too hard, and biting means game over. Now this brings us to the next topic: how to deal with puppy bite. One of the most commonly asked question is how to prevent puppy bite. In my old apartment, pretty much all furniture were bitten by Jimmy. It is important when you first bring the new puppy home, start in a small confined area like a crate or playpen that is a hundred percent dog-proof. Later on, you can let your dog slowly venture out to other areas of the house. It is very normal for a puppy teething. And typically between weeks 12 to 16 is when puppies start to lose puppy teeth and grow out adult teeth, and this is the critical period that you provide him plenty of chewing toys and socialization. For a Shiba Inu dog, make sure you alternate the toy frequently and put a new toy away, because Shiba Inu tends to lose interest quickly. If he has been playing with the same toy for a long time, when puppy bites on things he should not have, if you caught him on sight, then you can loudly tell him no, and give him time out. If your dog bites your furniture when you are not home, and you notice a broken furniture when you got back, then you should not punish your dog because he won't understand why he was being punished. That is why it is so important to have a dog-proof area to place your dog in when you are not around. So when you are not around, you can rest assured that your house won't get teared down by your new family member. Puppy also bite out of boredom, so it is critical to exercise your dog fully every single day. I have a video that talks about how to raise a well-balanced and happy dog. So check it out if you want to learn more. Keep in mind that training your dog takes time and consistency. It is very likely that your puppy will not behave on day one, but you just have to keep repeat the command and reapply positive reinforcement many, many, many times until puppy slowly learns what is good and what is bad behavior. To learn more about this unique breed. Personality and how to work with them. Check out the video on the screen. If you enjoy this video, remember to subscribe for weekly Shiba Inu updates. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.